Welcome back to the Sound for More channel. It's Leo speaking. Today I have the pleasure to show you Fast Equalizer from Focusrite, which is contained in the Fast bundle. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. Okay, I'm inside Ableton Live. I have created a new live set and I have uploaded a little composition which I have created using my iPad Pro. And this is what it sounds like. Okay, let's load up the fast equalizer. As you can see, pretty much standard interface from all the fast uh, uh, plugins like fast verb, for example. And you have AI here, which is used to learn, to activate that learn process. So why don't we use that first? So let's click play and then let's click on learn. Okay, we have now um, processed uh, the AI learning and we have um, um, recommended settings which are active. Now here, as always, we have the profile that we can choose from universal, vocal, acoustic guitar, keys, etc., which I recommend you try. And here also we can change the flavor. So let me show it to you. Okay, nice. Here we can change the intensity of the corrected curve and here we can we can change the output uh, or the volume gain as well. You have a fast view and you have the detail view and uh, the really nice um, a tools um, appears when you click on detail view like so. First of all, here you can choose a high pass or if you click again, a low pass shelf um for uh, the low hand and you can do the same for the high hand which is really nice and then you can click here click and drag and you can choose as well where to position it so let's try <laughs> Okay, that's really nice. Then here you can choose the different bandings, which is really nice. And um, you can see it changes the color down here because down here then you can click uh, and as you hold, you can move up and down to change the frequency, the gain as well, the Q level. And you can also isolate it here, clicking on here, which is really nice. Let's try. Of course, you can use also the handle here. You click and hold, and then you can drag up and down, and you can change the gain. So that's really nice. And then here is really nice. You have additional option to have the analyzer on and off.
hope you agree with me that uh, it is a fantastic plugin. It works extremely well and you can have a lot of fun and make all the necessary adjustments to, to your productions. Okay, I'm going to stop here for this short demonstration and tutorial. And as always, see you next time. Bye.